Okay. You ready? Yep. Very graceful. Oh my god. I forgot my goggles. <laughs> Too late now. Welcome to another episode of Fish and Porridge. This is my third attempt going for crawdads. So the first two, or the first attempt, I accidentally had my camera on time lapse. So that didn't work out. The second time I had the camera pointed too high up and so you couldn't actually see me grabbing very many of them. And so this is the third attempt. Unfortunately, the river is so packed, we couldn't get a good spot, so I'm not going to be snorkeling so much today. So we're just going to be waiting around for him. But I have some footage of me snorkeling before, I have some footage of me poking around for him, and hopefully we can get a bunch today and make a boil out of them tomorrow. I'm going to set up the trap. I don't really know where yet. I need to find an eddy, because I have this trap where I put some, some hot dogs in there. So I heard that's pretty good bait. And, uh... We're gonna try to get some in the trap line and then and then Jess is already on the with the net trying to get some just by hand. Let's go ahead and get this trap out there and start poking around some rocks for some crawdads. So we did get some good footage of day one. Uh, day one I was kind of unprepared. I had never really snorkeled before. I've never really swam through rivers before. So it was kind of learning a lot. The idea was basically just scooting around on the bottom, flipping over rocks, trying to find these crawdads and, you know, get enough for at least a small boil. So you can see here, uh, if I found a rock that looked good, I flip it over and boom, there's a little guy in there. Got to chase him down a little bit. Now this next one, he's got some, some ninja reflexes. He actually turned and got me right there, pinched me a little bit. Luckily he was kind of small, so it didn't hurt too bad. But as I said before, a lot of the footage from the first day was not usable. It was in time last mode, so I only got a couple clips, but it was fun. It was a good day on the water. And we definitely got a couple crawdads here that you'll see. We got definitely a good amount. Decent amount in there. So we're gonna take these home, cook them up, try to see, or I think we're just gonna do like butter, just basic boil them in butter, just super vanilla to get the taste of them and we'll see how we like them and then we'll go some crazier, crazier uh, recipes later. Day two, I came much more prepared. I had a better set of goggles. I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. Uh, I found a better spot. The only problem is that I had the GoPro camera actually tipped up too much, so I got a lot of videos where you can see some nice pretty rocks, you know, it's very calming and nice, but then all of a sudden a crawdad will just pop up because I grabbed it below the frame and ta-da! <laughs> it was fun. Uh, I learned a lot. The new goggles helped a ton, but we got a couple more, had another boil. These, these crawdads, they come from such clean water, they taste almost like crab, like they taste really good. Uh, these first two days we actually just boiled them in, in plain water and dipped them in butter and they turned out great. Now the third day is where we really, really knocked them out. Um, before we get started, I actually found this little group of very cool creatures. They're actually freshwater mussels, and they are extremely endangered. I've never seen so many before, so I thought it was really neat, and I wanted to show this clip, but if you ever see freshwater mussels, don't bother them because, again, they're really, really endangered. 
On the third day, we also enlisted some help from our friends Taylor and Jessica, so they came out in the water. Oh, what's with us. that, Taylor? Do you see those right at your right at your foot? Two or three of them right there. See them? Oh yeah. Oh, what's this right here? This one right there. Oh here. Try to get them in there. Scoop. They'll go backwards, so scoop behind them. Dude, there's like three or four right here. Oh, he got under it. Get the, try to get those two. <laughs> Did you get him? Nice. Here, dump it down in here. I'll consider that a success. Get out of there. Two or three? Oh, yeah, I see. With the experience I had on the first two days and the teamwork we employed on the third day, we made it happen. We got so many crawdads. It was crazy. We had the net involved. We had sticks involved. We were poking and prodding, hunting for these things. We caught so many of them. It was crazy. This was by far the most productive day we had so far. Oftentimes we'd have one of us chasing the crawdad with a net or the stick and the other one waiting on the other end for them to dart out and we would uh, we would make quick work of them. The women today didn't didn't go snorkeling but they did dig through the rocks on the side with another net and uh, as you can see we were just pulling them out left and right just one after the other back to back to back. It was a very productive day on the river crawdad was a masterful display of tool and teamwork uncovering three crawdads prodding them with the stick and capturing all three of them in a single net crazy catch This guy was trying to be tricky, so I was trying to be tricky back. He was wedged in a corner there, and with crabs, sometimes you can get them to pinch onto something, and they won't let go, and you can kind of pull them out. So I was trying to do the same thing here. Unfortunately, uh, he, was, he was smarter than that. He didn't actually get pulled out. He, he, went, he went away and escaped. Most of the time I was using my hands and Taylor was using the net. I felt a little more confident grabbing him uh, and not getting pinched. And Taylor was extremely effective with the net anyway. Most of them were pretty average size. We got a couple like this guy that were like little lobsters. Look at those claws. Those are those are gnarly claws. They'll make some good meat there. I would say every time we found a couple, we would come up with at least two at a time. We were we were knocking them out. It was it was back to back doubles all day. I was pretty proud of this one. I turned around, spotted that crawdad, and then with pinpoint accuracy, snagged him right out of the water. Boom. He's a good size one too. Part way through the day and our bucket was already squirming with a bunch of mud bugs. We were doing good. These guys, we actually came up on these two and they were like in the middle of a duel. And so we we both teamed up and uh, we're gonna get both of them. But we, at the first pass, they, uh, they actually got away. That one swam out. One went down and one went up towards Taylor and I was able to get this guy real quick. And uh, Taylor was actually busy getting the other one, and we got both of them, even though they first at first escaped. We uh, we prevailed. Now they can be in the bag and fight together in the bag if they, if they really want to. 
Yeah. Very good. I think, aside from setting up a trap for a few hours, we were catching crawdads by hand about as fast as you possibly could. <laughs> the river was littered with them. Even as we were trying to get out, we kept seeing more and more and more. It ended up being one of those, oh, just one more, oh, just one more type situations. And we just, we ended up with so many. It was, it was a great day. We are done for today on the river. We had a crazy haul. Like, look, look at all those crawdads. There's so many of them. We, got, we probably got, I don't know, 50 of them, more. And uh, fear not, these are all going to be in a one giant, delicious Louisiana style crawdad boil tomorrow. We have a, a barbecue to go to. And that is our contribution. So these are gonna be delicious in that crawdad boil and we'll, we'll take you with us then. So we're gonna get off the river now. We're gonna get dried off. <sighs> that was fun, that was a good time. That was the best crawdad thing I've ever had. But yeah, we'll see you tomorrow and at the barbecue, at the, at the boil barbecue. Brisket, crawdads, pie. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. What is up guys, it's the next day. We're at a friend's house, actually Taylor's house. He was there helping me catch those guys. So we're doing the crawdad boil. We have our vegetables, corn, potatoes, a couple <laughs> lemons in there and some sausage. sausage is gonna go in there and then some cloves of garlic and the crawfish boil from Louisiana. Oh, it's gonna be Cajun style. There's John Howdy. and Hank and Amanda. They've had cameos Woo! before. And of course, Jessica and Jess. <laughs> so we got our bo water boiling. All of the vegetables and the sausage is gonna go in for 10 minutes and the crawfish goes in for five and then it rests. We're about ready to boil. We got our crawfish all rinsed off, ready to go. It'll be good. Oh God, don't flash me. Oh, careful. Uh, don't forget the spices. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that. No. So on top of the fish fry, we're gonna bring some lemon pepper, some Creole seasoning, and the classic Old Bay. You always need Old Bay when you're talking. A healthy sprinkling of each of these. <laughs> That's boiling. We'll have to start the timer. Once this is to a boil, Looks set a timer for 10 or 15 minutes before putting the crop in. Amazing. Okay, so 5.6, and now these are gonna go in. Ready? Yep, oh, they're already going. Okay. They're not even waiting for you. And the water is actually really hard boiled, so they die pretty much immediately. Nighty night. Uh, you want to set a timer? For yeah, that? five minutes. Five minutes? Yep. After a five minute boil, you turn the heat off and let these things soak in the water for about 15 to 20 minutes. The longer you let it soak, the more of those spices and heat are going to absorb into the crawdads, and you'll get a much more flavorful and Cajun style meal. Carefully drain the water out after it's done soaking. Make sure not to spill any hot water on yourself. Once drained, just pour out onto your tray of choice, or traditionally, they just put it onto some newspaper in the middle of the table so everyone can pick it what they want. Oh God. Go, what yeah, are you doing? Ow. You are losing sausages. Uh. Well, Lincoln is making out like a bandit. Yeah, really. <laughs> we had so much crawdad boil. We actually had leftovers for multiple people for multiple days. It turned out absolutely delicious. Better than I could have hoped for. It ended up being great. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was my first crawdad adventure on the channel and it was awesome. I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I actually have another one of these in the works right now with a new recipe. So if you don't want to miss that, hit that sub button below and hit the bell notification icon so you get notified when my videos drop. I release videos every week and if you don't want to miss them, definitely hit that sub button. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching again. Hit that like button, comment below what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.